In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build and assemble this 3D printed glow-in-the-dark block clock. So I designed everything um, with SolidWorks, uh, which is a 3D modeling um, software. There's plenty of uh, 3D modeling software out there, like uh, Google SketchUp is a good one to get started with, uh, but I was just familiar with SolidWorks, so that's why I uh, chose to use this. This is the full assembly here. I use the free software Cura to turn my STL files into G-code. Cura is a slicer for 3D printing. Here's the time lapse. It was uh, it was much slower in real life. <clears throat> okay, for this block clock, you're gonna need an Arduino Uno. Um, the 3D printed parts that I will include in the description down below. Um, include the case, top of the case, front of the case. These guys, the arms, you also need a UV 5mm LED, a real-time clock, a push button, and some M3 fasteners. I'll include all of the components on the description below and where to buy them. So, um, yeah, oh, wait, you're going to need some servos. So I'll be wiring up everything according to uh, this uh, diagram here. Um, this shows all the electrical components and where they plug into and on which ports on the Arduino. For wire, I'm using some 22-gauge uh, uh, solid core that I pulled out of some Cat5 wire. Okay, we're going to start with uh, soldering up the real-time clock. So I'm going to heat up my soldering gun and uh, get started with that. Just give it a nice little uh, poke with uh, the solder and the tip, and it's good to go. Look at that. Yep. So we're just going to wire up this whole row here. Um, all the details for this project, uh, you can find the link. Uh, that includes the, the wiring diagrams. Now I got all the uh, wire soldered, so we will move on to the push button now. This guy's a little tricky because you don't want him to melt. So we're going to pre-tin um, the terminals uh, with some solder, so it makes it easier. So here I'm just going to try and pre-tin the, the wire. I'm getting my solder out right now, it's all tangled up. Alright, so check it out. Should. Just flow right on. Alright. Here I go. Trying to get some solder on it. Oh, it's fun. Alright, hey, look at that. We're good. Okay, since these two are tinned, it should be pretty easy to uh, get it to flow. And, yep. And I'll just the other side, and uh, we're good. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started soldering was um, not taking care of my solder tip. You really have to have it nice and shiny to be able to solder well. If your tip's not shiny, you're gonna run into problems. You know, things are gonna glob up, not not go on to uh, the actual part you're trying to solder, and that's frustrating. Hey, look at that. All right, so check it out. We got both of these soldered up real nicely, and we did it without melting the plastic on here which was a little tricky, but we did it. You gotta tin your stuff prior to soldering. That really helps it uh, flow on there easier. Anyways, that's that. Mm, that's not so bad. Here we go on this one. Again, I'm just uh, instead of inner or twisting them or anything, I'm just laying them on top of each other and then letting the, the solder um, flow in between them, connect them. Um, and then after, I'm just going to put some heat shriek on, that way they don't touch. It'd probably be best to use a braided wire here as opposed to the thick um, 
solid core wire I have here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, LED with the new wires on it and I'm going to slide some heat shrink over the uglier parts of my solder. This is just to prevent um, any shorting. Let me make it look a little prettier. It's warm. Light it and then just quickly go back and forth over it. Boom. Done. Don't need anything fancy. Don't need a heat gun. Or... And then quick back and forth over it. I'm going to be sliding the servos into here. This is going to be a pretty tight fit, so these stickers might come off. Um, yep, look at that. Sticker gets pushed off. Um, these uh, servos seem pretty press fit in there. I don't really see a need to put any additional fasteners in there. So, let's, let's not, you know. Okay, let's start some uh, basic assembly. For this, uh, there's four holes on the back uh, of this. Right there. Put this on in. Take your screwdriver with the right head. And screw in the fasteners to lock it in place. You probably don't need to put it in all four. In fact, one is going to do it. Okay, next comes the clock. It's going to be facing with the battery out, and then there are two nice little holes right there for it to go into. Wires are gonna be on this side. Again, we're just gonna use an M3. I'm just gonna screw one of them in. All right, this is gonna be a little tricky getting that right. So, get that in there and tighten that sucker down. Great. Everything seems sturdy. Bad. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get the red out of there. Not just peeling. It's nice. Give it a nice twist. Twist onto here. Add a little solder, and then that should plug in nice. Because um, this one's a little stiffer. You need a lot of solder, just enough to get this. Um, Bonded to each other. And uh, just there we go. Right, quit myself a little bit of heat shrink. There we go. Quickly run over it. Alright, plug it back into the 5 volt there. 5 volts to the servos and to the clock, which is what we need. Great. We're going to do the same for the ground. So. Stand by. Okay, you probably can't see it very well, but I've twisted all the grounds together into one um, with uh, leaving a little extra length there for us to plug into uh, the Arduino. Afterwards, we're going to put some heat shrink on this to make sure the components don't wiggle later on and then fall apart. So, our solder's heating up. Um, for something like this, you want to make sure that the, the solder flows over all the wires there. You'll see it travel up the uh, the wires if uh, the flux is doing its job. Better. Now this is going to our ground, which is, uh, I guess that guy right there. See it? Okay. All right. We are getting there. Okay, we got yellow going to A4 here. Next, we've got the green going to A5. Next, we have this black one on the top going to digital pin number two, which leaves the LED to be wired, which I think is going to 12. Oh, God. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, that one's wired. Servos, where do those go? Um, left side servo, this guy right here, let's twist the wire so that we have something to plug into. Left servo goes to 10, digital pin 10. Yeah, that feels really loose, it's sliding in and out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tin this to add a little bit more bulk. Okay, nice. It's got a little shine to it, which is what we need. 
and that should um, go in a little nicer to 10. And it does. Okay, we're gonna do the same for the right servo, um, tinning it and then plugging it into digital pin number nine on the Arduino. Look at my diagram. Seven. Button goes to seven. Good stuff. Okay, now look at that. The top fits on without bumping into the Arduino. Too bad, so. Okay, screw in the top now. Okay, now we're going to assemble the arms. You're gonna need uh, your 3D printed arms um, and your M3 six millimeter screws. Okay, so let's start with this side. These are through holes, so they should just kind of slide right in. Might need to twist them a little bit. Um, and then on these guys, um, you're gonna wanna look for the side that is have, has a little fillet on it like that. Um, that way we can screw into that easily and it's going to be a tight fit on that one. Um, and the idea is on the top, it's got kind of a smooth rotation. And the bottom, it's stuck in there good. So let's see, faster fillets on that side. So here we go. It's going to screw really tightly into that bottom one. And then loosen it up and back off just enough so that this has a nice smooth rotation to it. That's what we're after, right? You should see that that hex uh, screw will rotate with this arm. Look at that, eh? Okay, um, so my next step is to add this guy. Um, the dimensions of this are 1.5 inches by 2.75 inches. Okay, sticker has been peeled. Yep, perfect. <laughs> okay, that looks that looks nice. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, that's gonna conclude this uh, part of the video. So the next part, we will be uploading the Arduino code, and I'll be showing you how to calibrate the arms and uh, make it work perfect. So uh, thanks for tuning in and have a good day.